G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors and today's video is about the Snogpat Jungle Bag So here it is, the Snogpat Jungle Bag. First of all, we'll just show you what's on the end, so you can see it. Uh, sleeping bag size, 80 centimeters, which is 31 inches, by 220 centimeters, which is 87 inches. And what does it say here? Comfort rating. A uh, comfort rating of 7 degrees centigrade, which is 45 Fahrenheit, and a low of 2 centigrade, 36 Fahrenheit. The weight of the bag is uh, 900 grams, which is 32 ounces. The length is 18 centimeters by 15 centimeters when it's compressed. You can compress it down. using the compression straps. Where were we? Let's get back to it. Which is seven inches by six inches. Now the bag is pretty good nick. Good comp uh, the actual stuff sack, should I say, or your compression bag. It's good quality. You've got your webbing coming around, so once you actually cinch it up, the whole thing is being held. It's not just points here and here. Decent buckles on it. We have like a power cord, cord at the top, with line lock, which is easy. Let's get these out of the way, which is easy pulled over. We've got a little flap there to protect it when you close it, so no debris gets in the end. Your sleeping bag fits in here fairly, not easy but not difficult, it does go in with very little uh, trouble. I don't roll mine, I just stuff them in and you'll see when I pull this out that it's just stuffed. So here we go, Let's pull it out, yeah, it's just stuffed in. So let's read the um, specs and then we'll show you the bag itself. There's built-in roll-away mosquito net, antibacterial fabric stop odours when on the move, can be opened up fully and used as a quilt, elasticated draw cord adjustable hood, zipped internal valuables pocket, two-way side zip with insulated baffle behind, anti-snag zipper webbing tape, uh, supplied with a compression stuff sack for easy compact carrying, hanging tabs on the foot, to allow easy airing and drying. Specifications, weight 900, comfort rating 7 degrees centigrade, 45 Fahrenheit, low rating 2 degrees centigrade, 36 Fahrenheit, uh, pack size 15 by 18, fully compressed, outer fabric is a micro diamond, 100% polyester, inner fabric is a Paratex antibacterial, 100% polyester, insulation is a travel soft, 100% polyester, shape square foot for freedom of movement and this one's in a coyote tan and it does come in i think now it comes in olive green and i think it's their sort of their cam color and i think black also so you need to check but where i got this from they only have the two colors in at the time which is the coyote tan and the olive green i'm not down there out the way now I'll give you this close up of everything first and then I'll lay it out so you can see it. You can see the diamond in there, I hope. Which is a bit like a rip stop sort of thing, so if it gets a hole, it's not going to rip any further. Feels really nice, I'll give it that. It is fairly soft. There's your hanging loop on the bottom, there's two of those. So you can hang that up to air. There's your bottom zip, so you can open it all the way, and a double zip at the other end. 
Now I'll stuff some of these so that will open up into like a blanket. So let's do that back up. Oh, there's the, the little baffle. So, and there's an anti snag piece of material there. And the actual zip will go around from the front onto the inside. This one, I believe, it's just on the outside. So there's only a pulley on the outside of this one. So like I said, this is a square one. It's not a mummy shape. So at the top here, you can see We've got the bug net, which matches in colour. It's a very fine mesh, if you can see that. And that's got its own individual zip, just a small one. And that's got the double pulley, one on the inside, one on the outside. That's about size 3 zip, if you do sewing or manufacturing. So. And that zips all the way around. And it actually, let's get this out of the way, goes past the normal side zip. So that zips down here. So you've got another two, two and a bit inches of protection from anything crawling in through the opening. So that's fairly well sealed. So you just have to remember when you're trying to get out the sleeping bag you've got to find the small one first so it'd be worthwhile putting a bit of cord on the inside of this one so you can find it easier and open it and then open the side one to get out you can see it's a fairly nice looking material and the sleeping bag cinch cord is on the outside of the bug net so which is a bit of a bugger that would have been better on the inside because to have to cinch that up you have to undo your bug net and then do it up and then when this is cinched it just makes it a little bit more awkward to do the zip up with the bug net it's not a deal breaker you can see the bug net's got stitching coming up here so it's actually holding it away well, you've got that much room, should I say. It doesn't hold it away from your face. You've got that much room for your face and your head in there, even though most of that will be below, unless you use a pillow. Now that unzips to this point here. And all we need to do is fold it or stuff it. And we've got a little small pocket at this point. And that comfortably goes in there without any trouble. That's your pockets down to here. So there's plenty, plenty of room. Inside pocket. Let's unzip this a bit more. Inside pocket is here. It's a mesh pocket. Again, another decent small zip on it. Big enough to put your mobile phone or papers, whatever you want, into that. Yeah, so this one is a left-hand side zip. That's all your washing instructions there. Is it? Yep. Basically the same, wash at 30 degrees and hang to dry. No tumble dryer, no ironing, all that stuff. Left to zip, coyote, jungle bag. Temperature rating, the comfort rating, they have given it seven. That is fairly accurate. And their testing is, they say, if you're in a tent uh, with a base layer of clothes or pajamas on, and a decent sleeping mat underneath you that would comfortably take you down to about seven and 
I must agree with that. It does. I've taken it down to seven, and in the in the bivy bag, I've actually taken it below the seven degrees centigrade. So would I recommend this one? If you want something that packs down really small, really drawable, and you don't mind the bog net actually laying on your face, I'll tell you what I do sometimes is I've got my baseball cap on and the peak of that holds it off my face and I'll sleep with my baseball cap on. Uh, as long as you don't mind that bog net touching your face, all in all, it is a good sleeping bag. Would I recommend it? If you're similar to me and you're not worried about the weight because like I said it's about 900 so it's a little bit heavier of the lightweight uh, down sleeping bags but very little extra weight for what you're getting I could recommend it because the quality wise it's pretty good quality and like I said I've used it for now almost a year every now and then I've used my blanket but most of the time I've used this just so I can actually test it out on the Bilbo track hike and doing uh, multi-day hikes so yeah it is a pretty good sleeping bag and I could recommend it so if this has been informative and you've enjoyed this video and you're not already a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell and select all and click on the thumbs up the like button and if you are already a subscriber Again, I thank you very much.